Hello, this is the California Conventors blog. Uh, my name is Matthew. We have Nate and Levi, and today we're here with Burnout Syndromes. Yay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, so first off, how are you all feeling on this final day of KomoriCon 2022? <laughs> あ、コモリコンはですね、すごくこう、え、上品だというか、皆さんがこう、ゆったりと楽しんでリラックスして楽しんでるっていうのが、え、すごく伝わってきまして、我々もこう、それに合わせてというか、すごくこう、あの、真
uh, when we were deciding on our other songs, we really wanted to uh, show a different side of us that many of our fans probably don't know. So like playing songs uh, like that you guys might not recognize, sort of like, but more like Japanese styles or like pop yeah, styles. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. so uh, we really wanted to focus on that, maybe have like a mix of it so you guys can see different sides of us and then get like a more well-rounded experience of like what we are about. I see. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, for those who don't know the origin story of your founding of the band, can you explain to us how you all got together in junior high school? あの、アニメのバンドそんな曲調に繋がっているのかなと思っていて、え、13歳から組んでいたバンドが、え、3人になるんですけど、17年経って世界中でこう、コンサートできてるっていうのはすごい奇跡なことだなと。so uh, we started our band when we were 13 years old, when our bassist uh, in, uh, just wanted to start a band. So he invited both Kumagai and Hirose to start a band. Uh, it was having a three person band at that time was sort of unheard of. It was really not many bands out there that did it. So when we first started our band, we really just wanted to do like musical covers of like our artists we like. But we quickly realized that there's not many bands out there that we could cover because the three man bands are like really, really rare at the time. So we quickly, because of that, went to like writing our own music for it. And that like, like starting from when we were like, only 13 years old, 17 years from now, we're like from now 30 years old, we're like completely like shocked and that we're like, could not be happier or like not be more like uh, thankful that we got to where we are now, like touring the world wow. and playing the music worldwide. Oh, great, awesome, thank, thank you. Um, so as a little bit of a follow up, um, you guys are a three piece. Um, has there ever been thoughts of uh, ever expanding into maybe a fourth member? あの、やっぱりこのずっと<笑><笑> <laughs> so we've always been saying to our fans that the fourth member is you guys. <laughs> so if we were to add a fourth member, we're going to get bashed by our fans. So I don't think we can do that anytime soon. <laughs> but, uh, oh, thank you. When we originally made our band, we sort of wanted a fourth member. So we were looking initially, but we couldn't find any. So uh, we just we just ended up just being three. Um, but now that we've been doing it for so long, I just can't. I don't see uh, doing it with anybody else. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, what was the effect of winning the second uh, Sen uh, Senku Renette, Renette in 2010? Did you feel like, did you feel that at, the, at that point that you're on the set, something successful? In um, terms of, yeah. Sorry, this is what was it called? Uh, the uh, Sen Senku Renette? Right. Yeah, but in 2010, when I won the Senku Renette, when I won the Senku Renette, I felt like, ここでキャリアがなんか変化したなとか、ここからなんかどういうあの変化があったと思いますか。これやっぱり勝って。うん、どうなんだろうな。そう、2010年の選考ライブというソニーの主催の大会で準優勝したんですね。我々。え、その時
新入賞が悔しいなぐらいの優勝できなかったのかっていうような悔しさだけがあったような気がしてます実際なんか実際選考ライフとかあどうなんだろうね準優勝したからいやでもあれで準優勝したから、うんうん、その日本の,その東京に行く機会ができるんですよね東京でライブするその理由になったというか東京にもその親父の人がついたのでそこで東京に行ったことからなんかその大会でファンになってきてくれた人もたくさんいて、えー、それゆえにこういろんな日本で日本中で活動できるようになったというかそういう意味ではこうなんだろう大きく変わったわけではないですけれどなんか少し変わったというか。うん大阪のバンドだった、うん、日本の地方都市のバンドだった我々がちょっとこう全国でもあの名前が知れたようになりそれがまたアニメにアニメのオープニングに採用されて本当に日本中で知られるようになりそしてさらにあのアニメが世界中で愛されるようになって<笑>世界中で<笑>ライブできるようになったってちっちゃな積み重ねの一つなのかなというふうに思って。So, for the competition, we ended up getting second place.、Uh, just because we got second place,、uh, honestly, I, I don't really think it had too much of like, a development inside of me.、Mm-hmm. Uh, just because I think the feeling just, like, of like,、uh, sadness and like, like, frustration was probably greater for me, the fact that we didn't win.、Mm-hmm. But、uh, obviously, being able to play so well in the competition gave us the opportunity to go to Tokyo, which sort of、uh, allowed us to sort of like,、uh, get our music more spread out、uh-huh. and like, more well known. Within Tokyo and not just Osaka, as we already started.、Uh, so I would say that that competition was definitely a good stepping stone to、uh, building up our career. But I really believe that like, from there, like, from that, we uh, uh, got the opportunity then to make music for anime and then got the chance to then make our anime then、yeah. got globally recognized. So I think there's many different steps that got us to where we are today. I would say that, that winning that competition on 2010 was probably a small step with this、oh, part of the career. Makes sense. Yeah. So, your musical styles that you like to incorporate into your songs include techno, ambient, and hip hop. Are there any styles that you look to incorporate in the near future? I think that the techno, 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 the t e こうなんていうか決まった形がないというかいろんな楽器を入れていいような3人だけだと本当音足りないのでいろんな音を入れれる余白があるんですよねですのでバンドサウンドプラス例えば和楽器であったりそれこそ EDM のサウンドであったりアンビエントであったりっていうようなあの世界基準の音を入れれる余白があるバンドなんしていてですので流行りのサウンドであったりとか逆にまだ誰も聴いたことがないようなあの未来的な音楽っていうのも挑戦してみたいしものすごく古いクラシックな音っていうのとバンドを融合させても面白いのかなと思っていて本当に自由なバンドでありたいなというふうに思ってます。So,、uh, yeah, our band has started with just three people, which is not a lot of people. So, because of that, we really feel like our band has like, no set form. And that, because of that, we're like, encouraged to, or we sort of need to adapt and add more types of music, add more types of sounds to our music, which is why we added like, shamisens, like Japanese traditional band instruments, or like, techno music. And like, we obviously like, want to maybe like, follow like, the trend or make our songs some more trendy, but at the same time, we also want to like, trailblaze and come up with new types of sounds and new types of music that people have never heard before. But also, like, even like, having like, completely classical, really old types of like,、uh, sounds from the past, and maybe trying to、like, combine all that and try and create something new and unique. I see. I see. I see. Oh, okay. Yeah.、Um, are there any artists or producers that、uh, you would love to collaborate with? あのこの先やっぱりあの他のなんかあの作者とか他のアニメのプロダクションとかとあのコラボしたいようなあの方とかいます。アニメでもあのあの音楽の音楽でも難しいな。うん。難しい。<笑>逆になんか逆になんか逆になんかディズニー。ディズニー。<笑>
なくやっぱり我々も皆さんがジャンプを好きなように日本人もすごくディズニーとかピクサーが大好きなので「トイ・ストーリー5」とか踏まえてもらえてくれると。<laughs> so, yeah,、uh, obviously, Disney or like、um, just as like Japanese people, you guys all like love Jump and love our anime.、Mm -hmm. People in Japan love Disney and Pixar.、Ooh. So, maybe doing like Toy Story 5 or something with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be amazing. <laughs> that'd be pretty cool. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> あのアニメ映画やってみたいんですよ<笑>あの<笑>映画でやっぱり曲が流れる瞬間ってやっぱその映画館の,そのスピーカーもあってものすごいこうなんかテンションが上がるんで一回自分たちもやらせていただきたいなっていうのは思います。Like being in a movie theater and just the, the speakers and just seeing like the music swell during a movie just sort of hits different than just like an anime show. So, being able to do that and experience that would be a really, really cool opportunity. Cool. So, our final question is what's in store for 2023 for burnout syndromes? I'm going to say, 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 I'm Pretty much going to do a lot of what we're doing already right now. We want to travel more globally. We want to go to different states in America. We have, I feel like every different state is like its own culture.、Uh, obviously, even outside of America, too, we want to go to different countries such as Europe and Asia. Actually, we have not gone to、uh, many other countries in Asia besides Japan. So that's definitely something we want to do as well.、Um, more on our music side,、uh, we definitely want to then focus more on collaborations and that、uh, maybe like.、Uh, Clubbing with artists that even for people that like, like watch anime can see the artist and be like, oh wow, so please look forward to that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> please, we really want to do music for Disney and Marvel. Oh my god, oh, please, if anyone has connections, please let us know. <laughs> Disney, you're watching, take notes. <laughs> Disney, you're watching, that's what sets up. With that, that's all the time we have. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.